As COVID-19 health orders ease up in Ohio, people who have been working remotely are starting to head back to the office. And one Northeast Ohio security expert and business consultant says he's seeing an alarming trend as a result. And he tells News 5's Jesse Schultz, tensions are high. Mm. That security expert has gotten inundated with calls from company leaders asking him for help dealing with their agitated employees. He says he's worried if something doesn't change that we'll see an uptick in workplace violence. It's no secret this past year and a half has taken a toll on all of us. A lot more aggression and violence, protests, destruction, differences of opinion. And then you got to also add into that mix uh, COVID, which contained people, restricted them. But now, as we emerge from our restrictions and back into our offices, the toll this past year took can still weigh us down. Companies are coming to us and asking us, can you help us with this transition? Tim Dimoff is a national security expert and a consultant. He said 10 years ago, he would get about three calls a year from employers asking how to deal with workplace aggression. Since COVID, we are now averaging seven of those types of calls a month. It's a tremendous demand on us right now. Just this week, dealing with a Northeast Ohio business that he says had a coworker pull a gun on another. Here's an employee that brought a gun to work, showed it, used it as an intimidation factor, and became very close to using it. Joanna Manon from the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Lake County says she's dealing with more patients who struggle with their work environments. People who have never experienced mental health condition before now are having some symptoms of, uh, you know, maybe uh, episodic depression or episodic anxiety. She says if you're feeling anxious, depressed or irritable, find a healthy outlet. I think it's important for folks to kind of arm themselves with something that works for them whether it be a deep breathing exercise or um, a relaxation technique. Dimoff says there's different needs for different companies, but across the board, they're asking for similar services. By far, diffusing and dealing with difficult people in active shooter recognition, prevention and response. He's worried in that time, we will see more workplace violence. If a company's proactive, they are not going to be the ones to have these incidents take place at their locations. Reporting for News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz.